Hi everyone, Maru still here from Fashion Still NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. So I'm doing a vlog today. I wasn't planning on vlogging at all, but Rose and I are doing some shopping today on Fifth Avenue. So I thought I would take you guys with me. I haven't even put on my lip yet. If you're interested in this hair, I did a whole video about getting holiday ready. You could check that out. Let me show you my outfit. So I am wearing this sweater wrap dress from and other stories. I'm wearing a size medium. It's kind of like a gray oatmeal color and I have paired it with my new brown Stuart Weitzman boots. These are the Parton boots. I also have them in black. They are true to size and you know I'm loving brown right now so these are great. I'm gonna throw on my brown All Saints fringe coat and some jewelry and go ahead and meet Rose. She's actually downstairs waiting for me. <laughs> I'm late, you guys, I'm so late. But I hope you guys enjoy this impromptu holiday shopping vlog. Links to my entire outfit will be down below. All right guys, so here's the full look. My All Saints fringe coat and other stories wrap dress, Stuart Weitzman boots, and old Celine bag. They do still have a few of these online, so if I can find them, I will link them down below. And let's go shopping. Out here. Bonjour. Look at her. She got the legs out today. Eh, eh, eh. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, in these streets. Hello. I'm so much taller. I like it that footwork. Hey, look at this look. What a babe. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>
All right, my loves, it is the next day. Yesterday was so fun. I took you all on a little impromptu shopping trip with Rose. If you wanna follow her, she does have her own YouTube channel. It is Dad Do Chic and her Instagram handle is also the same. Um, if you go to my main page, you'll see a little thing on the side that says follow my friends who have YouTube channels and you can find her channel that way. Anywho, we had a really fun time yesterday. I feel like this is the first time we kind of went holiday shopping together. We ended up going to Saks. I looked at some Balenciaga pumps. I have the white ones, but I love like the oatmeal colored ones and the pink ones. Unfortunately, they were just a tiny bit too small and they were the lowest height and y'all know I need a high heel so that was a no-go didn't find anything at Saks we did stop by Cartier we stood in line but then they said that they were booked up for today we didn't have an appointment or for that day I then did a little shopping at Bergdorf's tried on this really cute Proenza schooler striped dress a lot of you voted that I should buy it but I ended up not getting it because I saw that they have it at Nordstrom for like a hundred dollars less I'm a little thrifty sometimes, so I'm probably gonna get it just at a cheaper price. And then, because I'm super type A and I really wanted to go to Cartier, I just called while we were in Saks and made an appointment. They had availability, y'all. They literally made my appointment for one hour after I called in. I called in at maybe 3 p.m. They said, oh, you could come in at four. And so I ended up going to Cartier. This was my first time in Cartier. I already knew what I had in mind to buy. I wasn't thinking I was actually gonna get an appointment. I was gonna buy this thing for myself while I was down in Miami for New Year's. But since we were already on Fifth Ave, the Cartier on Fifth Avenue in New York City is the oldest Cartier, I think, in the world. And it's the biggest Cartier in the world. And it's just like a whole experience. And so, yes, I did end up getting something from Cartier. And I'm going to walk you guys through my entire experience, do a little unboxing, and show you exactly what I got. But first, let me show you my outfit of the day because I feel like I look extra cute today. I also did pop into Zara and buy a piece that I'm wearing, so I'll show you that. So let's get into the outfit of the day. So first up, this lip, because I know someone is gonna ask. This is Laura Mercier Chocolate Divine. I have like three browns that I absolutely love. They're all kind of matte. Even though this one is matte, it does have a little bit of sheen to it but it does last pretty much all day, and I love the brown color. It's not as deep as my ColourPop, but I will link this one down below along with the two other browns that I love, which is Revlon Hot Chocolate, and then it's the ColourPop one that I can never remember the name of. My earrings are the Thin Large Hoops from Majuri. This little necklace here is the Twin Necklace from Majuri. This little necklace here is actually a double necklace, and it's from Electric Picks. This little thin ring on my ring finger here is the stacker ring from Majuri. This white ring is from Ana Luisa. This little pearl ring here is from Olivia Burton. I actually did a campaign with them a few years ago and got this stunning ring along with some bracelets. And I'm pretty sure this little diamond ring on my middle finger here is from Blue Nile. So as you guys can see, over this like holiday season, I've gotten way into jewelry. I used to only wear earrings. I didn't really like wearing rings too much, even though I have a lot of them. But I think that's what sealed it for me, that I wanted something from Cartier. I'm also wearing the Majuri Gold Verme bangle i have a little link down below in the description box if you want to check out any of the majuri jewelry that i'm wearing i think you get an automatic discount when you use the link down below everything else i have also linked the electric picks necklace all the rings and such now let's get into the outfit because i know you want to know what i got from zara I'm gonna tell you right now to just buy it because when I wear it on the gram in about two months, you're gonna be upset that you didn't buy it. So this sweater, isn't it like the stuff of vintage dreams? It looks like a vintage sweater for sure, but it's not. I bought this last night during my shopping excursion on Fifth Avenue at Zara. I got the size medium. It fits a little oversized. You don't have to wear it off the shoulder. It is a deep, nice, V. It is super thick. I'm I'm not sure like what's the fabric. It looks like yarn. It's not super super itchy. Just 
it doesn't feel very itchy to me but it might be itchy to you but you can always wear something underneath and here it is like i said i got the size medium if it's still available i will link down below to zara but i think it's fairly new so hopefully you can find it i just love that sage green mixed with the white and the thickness of like the yarn the knit it's just absolutely stunning i've actually paired it with this ribbed kind of like bodycon almost skirt midi skirt that is also from zara this is super old i've had it for at least three years but i feel like zara comes out with these skirts all the time it's a size medium for the shoes i just went with my bottega Benita lido mules i get a few questions about my bottegas i feel like they are true to size i'm a u.s size 10 i always get a size 41 and it fits perfectly for me if you don't know your size i suggest you go to the store i don't want to tell anyone the wrong thing you end up getting the wrong size and then like blame me which has happened before so if you don't know your size just go to the store and try it on or if you got the coins just buy whatever two sizes you think is your size and just send the other one back they have a pretty good return policy if you buy directly from the Bottega Veneta website all right love so that is my outfit of the day anything that is available is linked down below in the description box for you guys if something is sold out I will link similar items but definitely get this sweater from Zara immediately before it sells out because it's it's just so good it feels like vintage quality goodness okay you heard it here first kids now let's get into my shopping experience at cartier and then i'll show you guys what i got of course all right guys so let's get into my experience at cartier like i said there was like a little line outside rose and i stood in the line got to the front someone came out and they were like do you have an appointment I said no. They asked me if I knew what I wanted to buy. I said yes. And then it looked like they were going to give me a, an appointment. And then some other guy came out and was like, oh, we don't have anything for the rest of the day. And I was like, mm, okay. And so Rose and I went on about our business. I ended up just calling while we were inside of Saks. And they asked me the same thing. I gave them my name. I told them what I wanted to buy. And then they said, how is an hour? Can you be here in an hour? And I was like, yes. Little did they know I had already just like tried to get in. So I went back in an hour. They took me right inside and it is huge in there. First of all, there were so many people in there. They have these cute little like, I don't know if they're bellmen or bell guys or they're in these super cute uniforms. Like I've never been in Cartier. I've never bought anything Cartier. So I don't know what it's like inside of the store. So bear with me if you know all of these things i thought it was super cool and so i thought i would share the new york city location on fifth avenue is like huge first of all it's like a labyrinth of different rooms there's chandeliers everywhere and diamonds everywhere and it was just wonderful so they took me inside they took me up the steps and they took me to this like little waiting room it was like little waiting areas all lined up along a very long wooden hallway the wallpaper was made of this beautiful champagne colored fabric there were like chandeliers and little light fixtures and little tables with fresh flowers and there was of course like water and sparkling water that you can drink and so i just sat there in my little area i sat there for about 10 minutes before my essay came and grabbed me well actually i don't even think it was my essay it was like the same lady who led me to the room she came and got me took me up another flight of steps to this stunning room with like pictures of elizabeth taylor dripped in diamonds in it and i passed by a few different other rooms with just diamonds everywhere and i was like you know what this is where i'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be where the diamonds are. Anywho, I I saw one of the little bellmen, like he had a tray of like little cakes and like wines and things. He did peek into my room because after I got into the room, they just left me there alone. They told me my essay would be right there. He popped in, asked me if I wanted anything and I was good at the moment. So I was just taking it all in. Like the desk that they set me at was like gorgeous. It was embossed in like this gold leaf. <laughs> I was just looking at everything. I thought, wow, this is, really stunning my essay came in i told her what i wanted she measured what needed to be measured she brought three options that i wanted to look at i tried them on i made my pick 
and it was super easy. They charged my card. I gave her my information. They put me in the system. I can go and get this thing engraved anytime free of charge, no matter how long I've had it. They gift wrapped it for me. I told them I wanted it gift wrapped. That was it. The whole process took, I think I was in there for maybe like 30 minutes tops. Like I wasn't in there for very long. Normally, she said that they would have given me a tour of the entire place and like showed me around with champagne, but because of COVID, they're not doing that anymore. So when you get your bag, they put it in this like very unassuming bag that has this little white top so that no one can really see what's in here because I guess I want it to be more inconspicuous of what's in there just so maybe you don't get mugged. <laughs> so if I lift this up, inside is the normal Cartier bag, which I actually liked and I preferred. So here it is. This is my Cartier bag. It's beautiful. I love it. In here, actually, don't know what's in here let me open this up so in here is my is her business card Anna she was amazing she's gonna be my lady from now on and here is my certificate here from Cartier show you what the certificate looks like this is stunning I didn't know that it came with all of this so here is my certificate it has a little stamp it has the date this is really cool like wow I could use this as a little passport holder almost it's a little small but pretty cool so that's my certificate there and then also here is my receipt so that's all that's in this little white envelope my receipt my certificate of I don't know, authentication or whatever. And that's what's in the envelope. Very fancy, if I must say so myself. I've literally not opened this, but this is what the bag looks like. I mean, it's gorgeous, first of all. All right, guys, so what else is in here? A little treat. I'm actually about to eat these right now because I'm starving. These are English toffee caramels and they're compliments of Cartier. How cute! I wonder if they taste good. I feel like anything you get from Cartier tastes freaking delicious. But I just repainted my nails and I don't want to mess them up by trying to open this. So, oh, can I rip it open? I don't want them to spill out everywhere. Look at me being so greedy. I know you guys just want to see what I got, but I'm hungry. That is so good. Mm. Okay. For the moment we've all been waiting for go ahead and guess what i got down below in the comments i'll give you a second to do that while i eat another one of these that is divine first of all this packaging how stunning i mean this is really cool i absolutely love it this is hard to open i was gonna mess up my nails i mean it's really hard this is like childproof oh, okay i got it all righty so here's the box. It says Cartier there. Lovely. I mean, this is fancy. This is fancy and I'm here for it. I don't even know which side is the top and which side is the bottom. I'm guessing this is the bottom. All right, guys, so here it is. You might know what it is based on this packaging already. So it has a little lever there. I press it. Bada boom, bada bing. This is what I got. Can you see it? All right, guys. So I got the love ring. It's 18 karat gold. There's two different types. Like they have one that's the engagement ring, which is actually cheaper. This one is the thickest one they have, I think. And it is absolutely stunning. Like I tried on the engagement ring, which is a little bit thinner than this one. And it just wasn't given what I wanted it to give. It was about 500, maybe $600 cheaper than this one. And I mean, when I put this one on my finger, I knew. And so I do plan on getting it engraved at some point, but I got this ring specifically for this finger. <laughs> 
I am not giving you guys the bird, but seriously, I got it for my middle finger on my right hand because I actually don't have a ring or any rings that actually fit that finger. It's pretty much my biggest finger. Like the knuckle is so big. Ugh, doesn't it just set off my arm? I mean, my finger candy here, like it sets it off. I love it. It's everything I want it to be. And now I feel like I want to get the engagement version, which is slightly thinner for my pinky finger. Like I want a pinky ring for my left hand for sure. And that is what I got from Cartier. It is perfect and stunning in every way. I think when I get back from Miami, I'm gonna have it engraved. I kinda wanna think about what I'm gonna have it engraved with. And I have a feeling I'm gonna end up buying another one for my pinky finger on this hand. And I also feel like maybe for my birthday next year, I'll get the love bracelet to match. So that is what I got from Cartier. The price on this with tax was I feel like it was $1,800 because the smaller um, engagement ring version was $1,100. This one was $1,700 and then with tax it was like $1,820 some change. But overall, a really amazing experience. This is the most expensive piece of jewelry I've ever bought myself. And I feel like I'm in my mid 30s, like I should have some lavish jewelry even if I have to buy it for myself you know I feel like this is the start of a very <laughs> expensive habit so we shall see um, I'm happy to be a part of the Cartier family now and I cannot wait to continue building my collection of Cartier jewelry because I mean it's everything y'all it's just luxury in a ring and it's just perfect i feel like if you have smaller like shorter fingers if you're like more of a petite person and you like this ring go for the engagement one that's um one thousand one hundred dollars because it's a little bit thinner i feel like if you have long fingers like me the thicker version will probably look better on your hand that was my experience at cartier hopefully the first of many it was wonderful i hope you all enjoyed this very impromptu vlog like this is a vlog that i didn't even plan on doing at all there was no thought behind it usually i kind of know what i'm vlogging but happy to take you guys with me on my first excursion to cartier and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please do give your girl a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a video tell your friends Tell your cousins, tell your auntie, share my videos with everybody you know. I'm really trying to get those numbers up. I'm trying to hit that 50K in the year 2021, hopefully. So I will see you all in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much. All right, now I'm gonna go take this sweater off because I'm hot. It's true. Bye guys.